What if a simple boarding pass can teach you all you need to know about PowerPoint slide design? Last week, I booked a flight and the boarding pass turned out to be an interesting design lesson. In my workshops, a lot of participants complain about how they need to pack a lot of information onto their slides and how that messes up the look and feel of their slides. But if you look at a boarding pass, they pack in so much information in such a small area and yet every piece of information is clearly visible. How do they achieve that? They do that because of some clever design principles. So what are those design principles and how can we apply those principles to our PowerPoint slide design? Let us explore. But why not do something different? First, I'll show you how a typical PowerPoint user would present the same information on a slide. And then I'll show you how by applying a few design principles, we can dramatically improve the clarity and the look and feel of the information. Does that sound interesting? Great, let us dive right in. And here is a sample customer detail to design the boarding pass. You can pause the video and go through the content. Let's say I'm a typical PowerPoint user. The first thing I would do is to open PowerPoint and I try to capture all the information that I see here in the Word document. Naturally, this is the cover slide. I don't really need it. So I hit enter and go to the next slide. And this is the guiding factor that I would use to capture all the information. But even before I start typing in the information, I do one other thing. I try to make the slide look a bit beautiful and therefore I go to design and add a design theme. This right away puts me at a disadvantage. The reason is I lose a lot of valuable real estate to this unnecessary design piece. Now I only have this much space to capture all the information. You also see the size of the font. It is very small. Then comes the issue of how I capture the information. I start with the title, which is boarding pass. Then I start writing my information and the way that I write the information is the name of the passenger is Jane Doe. The flight number is B0123. The terminal number is 12. Can you see I write full sentences to capture the information and I end up creating a slide that looks like this. Writing full sentences on their slides is the number one mistake rookie presenters make. It doesn't just take up a lot of space, it makes the whole slide look cluttered. Now I have exhausted all the bullets here on one slide and I still haven't captured half the information. So I need to add another slide and capture more information like this. Now once all the information is captured, some of the presenters have the urge to fill this white space with some pictures. So they end up sticking some clip art like this and make the slide look unprofessional. Now remember, we only captured all the information that we saw in the Word document here. And we haven't considered the tearaway stub portion where some of the information is captured. So if I have to capture all this text into one slide, it'll end up looking like this. And the tearaway stub portion looks like this. So this is how a typical presenter captures information on a slide. Now let us apply some simple design principles to capture all the essential information and improve the look and feel of the design. The first thing I would do is to cut the clutter. Now clutter on a slide could be of different types. First, I would remove all this unnecessary clip art. The second thing I would do is to remove all the unnecessary text elements. Since I'm designing just the boarding pass, I don't need certain information like this information, which is the boarding group number and PNR number, the number of checked in baggages, etc. I delete that. There is no need for a wish like this, which is safe travel across the Atlantic. So I delete that as well. And if I do that all in this particular slide, it makes the text a little more readable. And then when you remove the design theme, this is how the information looks. This already looks a lot better than what we started out with. The next big clutter to be removed is the filler text. I don't need to say the name of the passenger is Jane Doe. I just say passenger Jane Doe. Flight B0123. Terminal 2B. Gate number 12. The moment I cut down all the unnecessary filler words, the slide looks way better like this. So just by decluttering the slide, we moved from here to here. What a relief. The next step is to organize for priority. If you see the list of points here, 
there are certain pieces of information that are very important and they need to be right up front like say for example the boarding time this is one of the most important details that we need to have on the boarding pass then i don't necessarily need to have this lorem airlines as one of the points here this actually should be on the title because this is not an information for the passenger it is just for our branding and i can keep this to one side and i can clearly demarcate the information for the passengers and the branding elements and the title so people know where to focus once i reorganize based on priority this is how the information looks now once we have got to this level the next step is to add emphasis now if you see the entire text is in one font and it is not easy for people to differentiate between what request to be focused on and what can be ignored now when i highlight some of the key details this is how the information turns into you can see i have increased the font size and bolded certain pieces of information like the boarding time the starting point the end point etc and i have also differentiated the topic and the information the key information is all in capital letters whereas the topic is in the regular sentence format so we moved from here where everything looks the same to this where certain pieces of information are given the necessary emphasis then comes the next important design principle which is to use white space meaningfully now you can see on the slide all the information is loaded to one side and there is a lot of white space which we can take advantage of the same way we can also group certain pieces of information like the starting point the end point so starting can be here the end can be here and we can move the boarding time to the center so it occupies the center spot of the entire ticket so the eyes of the viewer lands exactly to the most important piece of information and i can always move these pieces of information like passenger details flight etc somewhere down here and when i do that this is how the design looks so once i declutter all the unnecessary pieces of information organize all the information based on priority add the necessary emphasis and use white space meaningfully then i can always add some design elements like this and make it look like a proper boarding pass now i want you to pay close attention to some of the design details here the first thing is about the alignment take a look at how everything is so beautifully aligned the from details are aligned the to details are aligned and all these other pieces of information are all properly aligned and you can see that we have alignment in the stub as well and there is no need for you to draw lines everywhere it is understood you use the lines carefully for example you can see that a line is used to differentiate the title from the content the same way the key information is separated from the other pieces of information even if you look at the flip side this is how the design looks one side is used for branding and the other side is used for key pieces of information and again there is alignment now i want you to compare this where we started and this where we ended all the information is right here in front of you nothing important is taken away we have been able to capture so much in such a little space so beautifully because of the design principles a small aside actually this is not my design i picked this design from a stock photo site just to show you how a designer thinks about laying out information compared to how a typical powerpoint user would think i hope you love the design lessons presented in a different way if you like this video then you will really like this other video that i created called brain push ups to improve your powerpoint design skills it gives you a quick idea of how i approach powerpoint design i will leave a link to this video right here on your screen you click on the link watch that video next i'll see you inside that video